The Tech Today podcast is brought to you by SSNC Technologies, a global market leading provider of cloud based investment accounting software services in fund administration. SSNC's AI powered investment operations and accounting platform, Singularity, provides real time, multi basis accounting across a wide range of asset types with unparalleled automation and operational efficiency. Singularity is offered on a software as a service basis or via smart source. SSNC's intelligent middle and back office accounting service. For more information, visit ssctech.com forward slash singularity. Welcome to the Tech Today podcast powered by CEO Raider. It's your host, John Mayetta. We've got a piece coming out tomorrow morning entitled Higher Corporate Income Tax Rates and Advanced Automation Are Coming. So we believe that should President Trump win re-election, you'll see the 21% current U.S. corporate tax rate increase to 35% probably in 2022. And should Biden win the presidency, our view is that you'll see the corporate income tax rate increase to 40 or 45%. So a material increase, almost double on the Trump double to perhaps more under Biden. And so if you're corporate America, you're thinking about, you know, how do we mitigate expenses given the coronavirus hit? So I think you'll see more companies adopt work from home uh, and sort of maintain that as an ongoing policy. We've seen a lot of that in the technology space, obviously. I've seen a number of asset management companies talk about that, which makes a lot of sense in that space. In any event, you're going to have additional pressures, whether they be COVID-related, the next pandemic that's going to come down the pike, whatever it may be that's going to come out of left field. And now tax rates going up. So if you're an executive management team member, CEO, CFO, you're thinking about controlling your, your largest expense, controlling it to the nth degree. And that expense, of course, is employees. So you can be sure companies with thin margins, think about fast food establishments, McDonald's and the like, invest extra heavy in robotics and try to pull that technology forward as much as possible and automate every last aspect of the service delivery system uh, that may be automated. But then if you think about, you know, white collar positions, and we've talked about this ad nauseum, particularly 2018, 2019 at Tech Today, both on this podcast and our writings, uh, our, our writings around artificial intelligence, machine learning. So I think you'll see accelerated investment in those areas. Of course, uh, baseline AI and machine learning, sort of the, the, the core services are offered by Microsoft as part of the Azure Cloud, AWS, Oracle, Google, of course, the AI leader. And then you'll continue to have other companies either build on top of those cloud platforms or build their own sort of decision support AI. There's already a number of vendors out there, obviously. A lot of them were founded back in 2012, 2013 as big data companies, if you remember that phrase. And now they've sort of evolved to call themselves AI companies. And whether they're using machine learning to render portions of video games or using machine learning for pattern detection, for predictive analytics. But a lot of those big data companies from half a dozen years ago, to the extent they're still independent companies, they've, you know, they've, they've now positioned themselves as, as AI companies. You know, we, we've talked about, we attended SSNC Technologies user conference last year where we spoke on the AI panel where their SSNC has deployed a, a platform called Singularity, which brings artificial intelligence, machine learning, natural language processing, deep learning, you name it, to middle and back office operations within the asset management space. Uh, robotic process automation, the latter which automates discrete workflows, and if you could stitch these various technologies together as SSNC has, you can start to automate entire processes through the application of those technologies that I mentioned. That's called IPA, or Intelligent Process Automation. And there are a whole host of companies talking about it. It's not just SSNC. There's, you know, Pega doing that in the insurance space. And so in our note, we list a, a handful of companies that have brought broadly defined artificial intelligence to various workflows in various industries. It's not by any stretch a complete taxonomy. It's literally maybe eight or ten names that we have at the at the bottom of the article, which is trying to raise people's attention to the fact. In addition to the content around AI in tomorrow's article, we talk about how corporate tax rates, we expect the public equity space to be very volatile. It's going to be volatile for a while. So we would expect that over the next several years during this period of volatility that institutional investor clients, you know, the, the pension funds and the like, start to rotate a portion of their capital allocation out of public equities and into, we think, private equity venture capital is going to be the, the primary beneficiary. So we, we talk about that. We provide some data around PE and, and venture in the article. So you may want to check that out. But I suspect 
that I don't know that we'll get it on the June quarter call unless somebody specifically asks for it. But I think eventually, whether it's Q3, Q4, even next year, because next year, 2021, as we continue to rebound, I think it's going to be a very slow rebound. We're not going to be at 2019 levels on an absolute basis. So as we slowly work our way back from an economic standpoint, it's going to be a grind. I suspect you'll start to hear companies talk about how they're driving operating efficiency internally by driving automation through the application of advanced automation technologies, such as broadly defined artificial intelligence. And that'll happen as companies want to stress the fact that, hey, just because the top line has decelerated, it doesn't mean we can't protect their earnings and and drive modest earnings growth to a company that modest revenue growth that we should see in 2021. And if companies are doing it correctly, in many cases, you'll see earnings accelerate faster than revenue in 2021. The reason why I say in many cases, there will be a number of companies that maybe they see an opportunity given the competitive landscape to sort of put their foot on the accelerator as it relates to R&D, for example, in the technology space. You know, we talked about that in a previous article a couple months ago where we expect to see leaders in various verticals within technology and other industry categories where leaders may take this opportunity when times are tough to put their proverbial foot on competitors' throats and accelerate investments in areas where they feel like it can win market share from competitors. So there will be some of that. Some companies will take this opportunity to invest. So keep an eye out for tomorrow's article. We have we have more coming this week. We're going to keep churning out content right through the, the summer season. So that's all for now. Enjoy your week. See you all next time.